I gave every part of my youth to do a job and to go through a savage war. It was a different war from year to year and one's reactions were completely different. The intensity changed so much that anybody who'd been out in 1914 and went home and then came back in 1917 wouldn't recognize it as the same war. Well, I can only say one thing, I wouldn't have missed it. It was terrible at times, and I wouldn't have missed it. Oh, yes. If I could have my time again, I'd go through it all over again because I enjoyed the service life. And I can only say that I have never been so excited in my life. This was like a boy going to the play the first time. I never realised there was anything unusual about it. There was a job to be done, and you just go on and did it. We were all instilled with that idea that this was war and that we got to kill the Germans, and, and this is how we looked at the thing. I don't regret having experienced it. I wish I hadn't, but I don't regret it because I'm safe. <laughs> there were good times and bad times in France. But you took the rough with the smooth. I was twice wounded and gassed, but it just didn't worry me. I just made the best of it. Just took it in its stride, like everybody else. We were glad to be in it, and we expected it to be rough. And it was rough, but we didn't complain. There was no real excitement about it. You'd seen death so many times, you'd seen wounded so many times. Blood didn't excite you. We were professionals, and to us it was just a job of work. It would be a fallacy to say that one enjoyed it, but one got afterwards a nice warm inner feeling that one had been of some use. It didn't affect me very much because I wasn't sufficiently up in the ways of the world. I was only a kid, like other blokes there. It was more like a great big game to be enjoyed, apart from the actual shelling and all that sort of thing. It made me a man. Yes, it did. I don't think I should have ever been the man I am if it hadn't been for having to serve. You'd learn to look after yourself. Whereas in your civilian life, your mother did all the chores. You've got to learn how to cook for yourself, darn your own socks, sew on your own buttons and all the things like that. It was just a day's work. I knew that I was not alone. I knew that I wasn't fighting the war by myself. And what happened to other people might happen to me. I had no regrets at all. You see, I had no wife, no girl, no nothing. No regrets and no horrors because if you survive that, you can survive anything.